Hi, I'm Greg, and this is Is It Worth <laughs> It, Y'all? And earlier while we were doing things, I went out to the garden and I picked some peppers that were ready to be picked. And uh, now I am going to pickle them. So first I will slice them into rings because I want them into rings so it'll make it easier to uh, use them as an ingredient for stuff. Put them on sandwiches or you know, just throw in a pan. That's a great idea. And what type of peppers are these? These are hot banana peppers. Mm. So I'm just going to cut the stem off and I'm going to put seeds and all in there because why not? Yeah. Well, you want this hot anyway. What is that, about what, quarter inch, half inch? Half inch slice? Yeah, quarter um, inch. Something that looks... <laughs> <laughs> a size that I can cook with. Okay. Okay, we're calling this quarter inch. Oh yeah, they're a little bit hot. They are? You just tried one? Mm-hmm. I know. I can smell them from here. Now, what were you telling me about this? Like, this isn't a bad pepper. What's What did you say this was? Sun skull. Okay. So that's just something that happens when the pepper's exposed to, like, too much yeah. sunshine or that it's too intense or... Too intense. Well, and we've had, like, what, 107 real filled days, which mm -hmm. is, you know, that's... And as that's, you can see, like, I, here, we will... Oh, you cut that one? Oh, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm -mm. I'm glad you picked them because I might have chucked it away. <laughs> what's the matter? Are you okay? Yeah. What? What's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> Your face is red. <laughs> <laughs> I told you all these are hot. They weren't supposed to be hot. They're, They're hot. hot. They're hot, dude. Ooh, I bet you. Oh, I don't even, I don't even want them though. Uh-uh. <clears throat> Man. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Just as a reminder, we're doing this for the Every Bit Counts Challenge. And usually what happens is, is one of the rules is you try to preserve one thing a day. Well, today is August 2nd. We are completely busy tomorrow. I forgot, well, I didn't forget. We just ran out of time yesterday. So the blueberries were for the first the cauliflowers for the second and greg is doing peppers for tomorrow because we're going to we have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow that does not include pr food preservation so we're catching up we're, like i said s trying to do six things a week probably going to be five so we're knocking three out because we have a minute sound good greg yes yes perfect <laughs> He's just ready to be done because it's 10 o'clock at night and he turns into a pumpkin at nine, so. But maybe that pepper helped spice him up. He'll be fine for another half hour. Well, you know what would be swell is my banana milk. <laughs> we'll talk about banana milk later. I guess I hope. <laughs> And no, it's not derogatory. They're, he's actually talking about this thing of banana milk that's been in the refrigerator because he started drinking it. And we started doing this. Actual banana milk. So do not take that the wrong way. <laughs> wow, you're in the home stretch. Oh yeah, I think you're definitely getting two half pints. I'm glad we picked half pints too because I think making sure that we don't waste them because we're not going to, we, we wouldn't use anything big enough, bigger. We wouldn't make anything yeah. to need a pint or a, or a quart. quart, I mean. Yeah, that's too much. Okay, where are you at? Talk, okay. talk, talk us through what you're doing. All right, so I got them all sliced up. Now I'm just gonna start 
loading up the jar. What's the headspace on this half inch? Half inch. It seems to be pretty. So that seems to be the nom. For yeah. yeah, for a pickle. How do you like these jars? I love these jars. Ooh, are we gonna need a third one? Because I may be the greatest slicer in the world, I got more out of it than I should have. Yeah. I think we're gonna need a third jar. Mm. All right, let me wash one up for you. Looks good. Say that. <laughs> okay, we're up and we're back. Oh yeah, that's okay. We'll still fill it up with brine. It'll be fine. Okay, so now uh, we can even it out a little bit so that when we put the water, the brine in there. Mm -hmm. This looks so good. Okay. Well, this is brine that we made. We made refrigerator pickles with this the other day. Yeah. And this was the brine that was left over. It smells really good. Just pour it in, babe. You got it. There you go. Now, I would say split this in thirds, and then whatever we, if we need to top something off, we'll do a one-to-one -one on the vinegar. Looks good. All right, so let's go ahead and take that jar and we'll do um, one to one uh, vinegar and water to top these off. We probably only need like a half a cup. So I'll be right back. When, I'll make go get you some vinegar. Okay, so we ran out of brine. So now I'm gonna put a one to one ratio of vinegar and water to top it off to make another to make the rest of the brine. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do, like two ounces and then we'll do two I'll ounces? I'll do two of ounces here. Uh -huh. And I'm looking at the measure. All well, the lines on the jar. The line on the jar. Got it. Okay. Do you want me to go fill some water up? Please, okay. ma'am. All right, be right back. Okay, so we got, that's our brine mix. So that's your pro hack for this one. If you run out, like do it, do your actual seasoned brine as evenly as you can. And then if you run out of brine, you can do a simple one-to-one -one with regular vinegar. Oh, Greg, you don't drink that. It's gross. Okay, so now I'm gonna debubble or. Sorry, I'm throwing stuff. Go ahead. Pea bubble is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You Get usually, your, I usually we usually use a chopstick, but since I got the spoon, I'm just going to use the back side of the spoon mm -hmm. and just do yourself a favor. Don't ever use a metal or a pla don't use a knife because you'll actually cause you have the potential to cause shards or cracks in the glass. So that's why we always use a chopstick. But this is fine. So all you're doing is just trying to get air bubbles out. And then we'll adjust the headspace if there's any big pockets that we missed. These look great. See, I like this better than the, the whole, whole pepper. pepper. Yeah. Because yeah. now, at least me, now if I look at this on the <clears throat> in the pantry, I can be like, oh, yeah, we can throw, I can open that up and... Put it on a burger or hot dog or... Eggs. Hey. Get down. What are you doing? Excuse me. Go over there. You're supposed to be supervising, not participating. Go. I mean, I'll tell you what, our next batch of peppers that come out, mm -hmm. that's, that's a pepper for a salsa right there. Oh, yeah. Instead of jalapenos? Mm-hmm. Since... Wait a minute. 
Hang on. I think that Brian had sugar. Hold oh. On. Go ahead. Okay. So now I'm going to clean my the rim of my jar. The brine might have had sugar in it, but I definitely know that when I was putting the peppers in the jar that some seeds got on there. So just to make sure no nothing from the seeds or anything can get in between there to cause a bad seal. And that's all you gotta do. Those are so pretty. Now I will stick some lids on there and just hand. We're not being mechanics, so we don't have to. <laughs> it's not a torque wrench. Like I did the first time when <laughs> I first started doing this. I'm like, oh, hand my hand tighten. I'll show you how to hand tighten something. <laughs> And now we are going to water glass. No, are we water glassing? No, that's eggs. Damn. That's eggs. You're okay. Water bathing. We're gonna water bath the the. We're gonna water bath these pickled hot banana peppers. Ten minutes. For ten minutes. But first, we got to get our water. Oh, no, we don't have to get it boiling because it's cold on cold. Yeah, yep. let's have that conversation. Let's go over here and have that conversation. Okay, so I just forgot <laughs> that we don't have to have it boiling first because we're this is cold, so we want to put it in cold, you know, room temperature, you know, not, not get a bottled water out of the refrigerator and pour it in here. But because these are at room temperature, you just need room temperature water. And then we will set our, then you get the water boiling. I'll turn this on for you. Yeah. Come on, steam. There we go. The steam function works best to make this water boil as fast as possible. So Greg's done great. He's got an inch of water above the jar you can see it's not hot because we can touch it which is what you want and he was doing a great job of explaining hot 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 cold 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 so can you tell them why we do that hot 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 liquid hot canner hot jars so you don't break your jars oh see did you see the look i got <laughs> well, did, did me you see the look i got I, it's not common. I mean, it is common sense, but when you're doing, I forgot because we had been, yeah, doing hot, 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 hot. and now we're switching. And, and now we switched. Now we switched, and it took me. Then I had to remember that mm -hmm. you don't. <sighs> well, and it's and it's good because we. It doesn't matter how long you've been canning. Uh, like I've I, I've been canning since I was six years old. It doesn't matter how long you've been canning. You always make sure that you've got your reference material and you constantly remind yourself, make sure you're doing this correctly, make sure you're doing it safely. So that way, whenever we put this food on the shelf and get ready to open it later, it is safe to consume. So that's why we keep repeating ourselves most times. It's not only for you to learn, it's for us to remember what we're supposed to do. You know, so I forget and I want to, you know, I want to be able to do this without you being here. You know, I've got that on so, record. <laughs> yeah. Well, because we have, you know, like, you know, for instance, tomorrow, if we didn't both have to do the same thing sometime, mm -hmm. you know, or let me rephrase that. When there's times when we can both be doing two different things, mm -hmm. I don't want it to always be that, oh, you go do, you have to do this because you're the only one that knows how to do it. Yeah. No. Yeah, because I like to do outside stuff too. I don't want to get stuck in the kitchen. You can get stuck in the kitchen sometimes. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Sweet. But then if, you know, like you had your shoulder was bothering you when I made dinner. Yeah. There, I mean, I make dinner two nights a week as it is, but, you know. And you know, hopefully, if you're gonna, if hopefully you're, you'll see that video before this one comes out. 
If you're going to do this, then both parties need to be, I mean, in my mind, what they're doing. Well, and I think, too, I think, hold on, I'm going to switch so we <laughs> And I think, too, I think you hit the nail on the head on that. I, and I think if you're going to do this, especially with a significant other, husband, wife, whatever, um, you both need to the, be on the same sheet of music because this isn't butterflies and rainbows. Like, this is hard work. Not only is it hard work to actually process this stuff, it was hard work to grow that food. And so you really kind of need to like be a team and do it together and, and be on the same page or it's it's not gonna work. You know what I mean? Like- Oh yeah. I mean, gotta... we're doing baby steps too. I mean, we have a small garden now. The end goal is to not have to go to the grocery store, mm -hmm. you know? we're baby stepping our way that's why you do these challenges mm -hmm. to lead yourself up to that yeah you know? yeah so that all of a sudden at once you don't go okay we're done let's go move out to the country and raise pigs and cows and grow our own food well you better know what you're doing a little bit yeah before you start doing it yeah so we're practicing and i mean we can practice we're not practicing i mean we're like incorporating it into our lifestyle that's a great way to say it. That's a really I mean, good way to practice say it. Practicing it is all oh, we're just going to do it. And then next week we're going to go back to going to McDonald's every day. And no, no, this is incorporated then in your lifestyle mm -hmm. because this is what you want to do. Yeah. So, you know, I want to learn how to can. I want to know. So then that way I can also go instead of asking, hey, can we can this or can that? It's like, hey, tonight let's let's can this mm -hmm. because now I know that you that can be done yeah a key to a girl's heart y'all all right we are going to bring you back when we're pulling jars out of the canner because that's going to take a minute to uh, come up to temp and boil so meet you back in a little bit you can just set that lid in the sink is that it that just turns it off yeah it's off oh that's a good sign yeah clean water yeah, clean water. Oh, Ryan, move. You're gonna get dripped on. Come on. Oh, you went fast. And there's three. They look great. No discoloration anywhere that shows that uh -uh. it leaked out. Water is very clean. All right. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So there is how I pickle hot banana peppers. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.